It's about time. One of the oldest film industries from India is the Odia film industry that produced its first film all the way back in 1936. With brief stints of productions leading up to the 50s, the Odia film industry would see some praiseworthy work that would garner national attention. When one thinks about this film industry currently, however, many people think about several of its problems not really standing out and making a mark for itself as it did previously. Upon a conversation with several people who have been avid watchers or observers of cinema coming from Odisha, they told me about the downfall of the industry is a combination of several facets. Some of them include the obsession of remakes, especially of Telugu cinema, the lack of effort done in capturing the socio-political aspects of the state that people can relate to, and the poor technical qualities of films that look like quick cash grabs rather than a genuine effort made in the craft of storytelling. Before I even get into the film the Odia subscribers also do write down in the comments below just so that one gets educated on the same of what's been the most frustrating aspect from cinema from Odisha in recent years and what have you as viewers most struggled to deal with in this slump Daman directed by Vishal Maurya and Debbie Prasad Lenka however comes as a refreshing change from an industry that has been inundated with mediocrity for years translating into an acronym that means malaria eradication in inaccessible areas the movie released in 2022 in select theaters and caused waves in different states for its inspirational and effective storytelling now re-released in hindi i thought it would be ideal to tell you about this film whose core is in the right place and which can hopefully open the gateway for multiple creators of this small industry to express themselves and for us to take notice on a national scale daman focuses on dr sidhan mohanty played by Abushan Mohanty who is a doctor posted in the Janbai PHC a cut off tribal area in the Malkangiri district of Odisha The posting occurs due to a state ruling where doctors from government courses have to serve at least 3 years in tribal or rural areas upon completing their MBBS. Think of it as a Jeetu Bhaiya from Panchayat situation where reluctantly they appear in a new setting absolutely away from the comforts of their previous life. The film explores the 151 villages under the area, the Naxal influence that acts as a threat, the superstition that persists amongst the population, and the goal of the doctor of spreading basic education on healthcare and diseases with the help of his aide, a pharmacist played by Dipanvit Dashmopatra. The hurdles he faces in effectively communicating and helping out a population that is stuck in its dated ways of living and how he integrates himself into their life almost becoming a messiah of sorts for them due to his contribution forms the basic premise of this humble yet impactful film. Right off the bat I have to say that this movie is basic in its form which is not a demerit in any way but something that I have to convey to you so that you manage your expectations. The film is linear in its storytelling. Its several key plot points almost appear in the screenplay like actors in a one act play rather than a seamless progression of events in the screenplay. And the emotional beats of the film can be seen from a mile away. This is to basically tell you that the narrative doesn't hold any surprises but also to tell you that this feature doesn't discount the fact that the storyline still packs the punch getting its point across. Despite having a grey undertone and some jarring color grading, the film inspired by several contributions made by doctors in the tribal and rural regions of Odisha, especially Dr. Omkar Hota, is a testament to how active and persistent empathy and work can cause change. The dam built in the state has cut off several areas from basic amenities and this seclusion has reduced them to believing whatever they are fed in that cocoon. The Hindi version of Daman actually enhances its emotional quotient due to the integration of music composed by Gaurav Anand. The track Ekla Chale Re sung by Javed Ali and Koi Hai Kya sung by Abhay Jodhpurkar really enhances the film's narrative. The visuals of the film immediately made me reminisce of some of the frames of Swades where Mohan Bhargav embraces the confined spaces in which the dense population resided and persisted individuals on top of each other to get their basics in check in a train or on a boat Siddharth embodies the very same feeling of what represents rural India fending for themselves every day despite the circumstances this is further heightened as Siddharth appears in Malkangiri the dilapidated buildings the worn out colors the consistent annoyance of mosquitoes it all represents aspects he wants to run away from but something pulls him back and that essentially becomes the core of this film the lack of basic needs being fulfilled for such a large population that eventually just becomes a statistic becomes a priority for Siddharth and this leads to several poignant moments as he understands the social responsibility that comes with being a doctor and a human with basic empathy 
the regret of missing out of his peers having it better than him becomes secondary as Siddharth embarks upon this inspiring journey for the people. The pharmacist describes Malkangiri as 500 years behind USA, but a reminder of the significance of doctors in this world really pushes Siddharth to make that change. This film requires stellar performances in order to communicate its emotional quotient, and the cast does a commendable job at the same, especially the Panvet as Siddharth's right hand man, both being pragmatic and a ride or die that one would want in a place which is so unfamiliar and unpredictable. I thought Babushan was slightly limited in his approach as Siddharth. There were moments where the supporting cast and locals were giving him so much, but he never really reciprocated the same by heightening the same emotion. There were moments where Siddharth could have easily broken down, making the moments so much more impactful. But the understated approach taken by the actor almost makes it just miss the bullseye of an otherwise admirable performance. There are many powerful moments in this film. When the locals appear appreciative of Siddharth's work in the village, how the locals and their relationship with the doctor transitions from animosity to absolute trust, the active participation required with the locals to make them understand the gravity of the situation, and the bureaucracy that one has to undergo and circumvent to get the basics for the people in this country right. Gods cannot be everywhere, so he sent doctors. And Siddharth as the protagonist really leads the way in this humble, effective and inspirational film that tells the real story of so many people in our country that are geographically and economically cut away from having a basic living. Just like Babushan Mohanty as Siddharth has an impactful contribution in the lives of people of Malkangiri, I hope Daman acts as a catalyst for change in the Odia industry to truly tell original stories of the people from the state that they can be proud of and we consistently see more work coming from the state. So much so that it gets dubbed in several languages and one of the oldest film industries really does get back to its glory days. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Daman. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.